Hello guys and welcome back to another video in the Curious Glasses. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to talk, tackle this project called Project Animal Attack on Khan Academy Programming Intro to J is Strong and Animation. I hope you have still going, uh, still been going through your journey through Khan Academy Programming. And you might have come across this project and you might have been stuck. And that's what this video is there for. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a few starter tips while showing you how to make this project look like an animal. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so for starters, you might have noticed that the body that they've already provided is a little bit off to the side. And that's because I just scrubbed these three numbers, the body X, body Y, and body W. Sorry if that lagged a bit. But I just scrubbed those three numbers and moved the, the body of what they provided. So you can go ahead and uh, position wherever you want your body to be and then start from there. So now that we have our uh, body position where we want it to be, let's go ahead and make this animal. So what I'm thinking is I just want another head or another ellipse, and then I'm going to make two, uh, three more ellipses, one for two eyes, or two for two eyes, and one for the mouth. And actually, I've already got that settled out here. So I've already got this ellipse right here, and I just did that just so it could be uh, more quick because this is a little bit um, longer to figure out, and I can just explain how I did this. So basically, I just took body X from the number I scrubbed, which was 158. Then I took body Y, which was 235, and subtracted it from whichever position I had that ellipse in, and that was subtracted 109, uh, 109. Then I did the same thing with face W, but this was more for the uh, this was for the width of the ellipse. So I did that by just knowing that the face uh, W was this body width and divided by two, which is 65. And I wanted the width of the ellipse to be 45. So I knew that it would be face W, which would be 65 minus 20, which is 45. Then uh, I wanted it to be round. So I just put 45 for the X. Now, what I wanna do is I want to make the eyes and the mouth. So to do that, we just need three more ellipses, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Ellipse. And then these are just random parameters. Okay, so here we have a, an ellipse, and let me go ahead and position that correctly for you. Okay, what Yay, so we made the eyes and the mouth, and we did that by simply scrubbing, or sorry, not scrubbing, but we simply did that by making these three ellipses and just um, positioning them and making the dimensions of how an eye and a mouth would look. And by now, uh, you probably learned a lot how to do that. So I'm not going to go ahead and like get into detail because you should know how to do that. But before that, you might have noticed that I made the face a bit bigger. And that's because we I made the face bigger because we're going to need the face to be bigger when we uh, make our ears. And when we make our ears, you'll see why. But before we make the ears, there's one thing we're missing. You might have guessed it, the legs. Every animal needs legs to walk. So let's go ahead and actually make those legs. And we can simply do that with the rect function. Um, let's just put random parameters for now. Um, and that would be, I'm just gonna do 40 all. all. And now we have this, but we want this to be yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the same fill that um, we have right here. So this fill, so we have the exact same color and we don't have to sort of drag it around the color. So now we have that 
and we can sort of uh, position it to look like an actual leg. Yay! Now we have our legs for the animal. And if you notice here, you might be like, whoa, whoa, what is all of this, like, minus and plus? Well, just like uh, we have in the first two ellipses that they already made for us, and in our third ellipse that we made ourselves, we're just adding these values to which value we want the position to be in. So, like, for body X, I, the body X right here is 158, and I wanted the body... Um, well, I wanted the uh, X position to be 180. So I did that by just adding 22 to 158. And same thing with the body Y, because the body Y right here is 235, right? And I wanted the body Y to be uh, 255. So you simply can do that by just um, using the body Y and the body X and then adding however, mu however much you want your position to be. And you might be wondering, hmm, well, we already have all the numbers. Why do we have to add these body Y and body X? Well, if you remember from this video that Pamela thought, Mrs. Pamela, um, she told us that we have to do it because when our object is animated, the whole thing has to move with the body. And if it doesn't, and if it's just a bunch of numbers, then the program will not move these two rectangles or these two ellipses unless it has a relationship with the actual body. So that's why we have to add in that body X and body Y. And we're actually go and, and I'm actually gonna go and fix these ellipses later. But now let's go ahead and make the ears. Whoa, we made the ears. But you might be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. What is all of this code? Well, don't worry. Just for the purpose of this video, I didn't want to bore you to death just showing me doing all these calculations and all these body X, body Y, and all that uh, things because that's basically everything you know. And if you don't know how to do a triangle, and I actually did not know how to do this uh, first when I did this project. So all I did is, like, as, as like um, we were thought, we go to the documentation tab. And you can actually go to this triangle place. And it sends you to this new, um, sends you to this new,